Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. Today we've been out here doing a little fishing. Uh, caught a couple small ones. They're actually, uh, they're fun, you know. Anything's better than not catching at all. But uh, we figured while we're out here, we're gonna shoot some tips for you guys. And today we're gonna show you how to set up and configure your Lawrence outboard pilot. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit our pages button, go to settings, and then we're gonna scroll down here to network. Then we wanna look at our device list. When we look down at this device list, we can see our NAC one is in here. So that's the important thing we need to know first. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our data sources. With this, we go to engine, then we go to center, and then we're gonna scroll down here to where it says pilot present. We're gonna to touch that you can see there's no check mark in the NAC1 autopilot. So we make sure that we have a check mark there. That way our system knows what we're using as our controller. So now that we've done that, we can go back to our home screen or we can just go to settings. Then we go to autopilot. We're gonna select our active pilot because I have a trolling motor and an outboard pilot on here. We wanna make sure that we're on the outboard pilot. As you can see, it says no autopilot computer. So we wanna make sure we go in here and we configure this now. Okay, so as you can see, we're set up on the autopilot now for the outboard pilot. We wanna select the autopilot data sources. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at my compass. I see that I've got a precision nine on here. If I were just using the 0.1 AP, that's what I would select. So now that we know that that's on there, we're using the HDS 12 for navigation. For position, we're using the 0.1 AP. And then for rudder feedback, you wanna make sure that you're on virtual rudder feedback when you're using the hydraulic system. So all of that is good. So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna commission our autopilot. We do that by going right here to commissioning. Then we select the VFR calibration. Now it tells me to use this wheel to center the rudder. When it says rudder, it's talking about your engine. So I'm gonna look back here at my outboard motor. I'm gonna make sure that it's pretty much lined up center and then I say next. So now what it does is it says turning. It's asking me, is the outboard turning to starboard? It hasn't yet, so I tell it no. So every time I tell it no, it's applying a little more power to turn the motor. So I keep telling it no while I'm watching my motor until I'm sure that I'm getting the starboard turn that I want. Okay, so I saw some good movement out of my motor there, so I'm now select yes. And it's asking to apply higher voltage. So I'm gonna say yes to this. And what that's doing is it's telling it the amount of energy you just used to turn the pilot, that's what I wanna use. So now it tells me to turn it to the max starboard. So I turn it there and I hit next. So now it tells me to turn it all the way to port. I can either push this button here or I can use the plus key on the side of my unit. I'm gonna just touch and hold this and I'm gonna watch my motor and I'm gonna watch it turn to the port side. I'm gonna keep watching until I see it turn to port. And as soon as I see it get to that locking position, I don't wanna put a whole lot of pressure against it. As soon as it touches that furthest port side, I let go of it and now it returns my motor to center. So basically what it's doing is it's telling itself, okay, this is all the way to port and this is all the way to starboard. Now it tells me my calibration is complete and I hit close. So now my autopilot is ready to use and drive this boat. So that's the basics on how you set up and configure your hydraulic outboard pilot on your Larance units. Now, don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, click the link right up here to subscribe to our Larance YouTube channel so you can get this and other technical tips. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get back to fishing.